Hello everyone, welcome to yet another song reaction. This is taken from my September submissions on r slash Alex Heights. And then over here if you'd like to post your own song or album reaction suggestions. Although, song reactions will be down until March or April because I need to get caught up on all these songs that everyone is recommending. Uh, we have The Midnight, The Comeback Kid. This is a band that I think my nephew may have told me about, if I'm not mistaken. Because uh, he was getting kind of into synth wave at a certain point, you know, all Drive and Blade Runner and oh man. Because um, some of this looks slightly familiar. Uh, it's from this album, has some nice bazoongas on the front, so of course I'll love this music, why not? Um, the Comeback Kid is the name of it. Uh, and people, people seem to uh, to enjoy this artist. It, it seems kind of unknown. Uh, but there's a lot of good ratings here. People tend to enjoy it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll be the one to put it in the limelight. Me and my big old channel. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying my best here, everybody. Uh, as always, if you guys enjoy the video, any of these would be highly appreciated, as always. Uh, and I think that we're just going to go ahead and dive right on into this video. So let's do it. Mm. It said, uh, new romantic, right? I can feel it. I bet that new wave in there, baby. Don't look at the Cortana boobies. Production is tight. Vocals aren't cringy, which is nice. Reminds me of Dayglo. Basic but pleasant. Like a not as adventurous M83, but we can't all be M83. Oh, there. 
There it is. Fleetwood Mac meet, meets Van Halen. Okay, well, if you must know the truth. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. Um, a tad derivative, but at least it's derivative of something interesting. Um, I mean, you could say like M83 is derivative of synthwave bands. Um, but like at least he slash they um, does interesting things like especially early m83 is really interesting very glitchy and noisy um but here i can see why this is very popular because it's very accessible very basic like i said it, typical formats the music formats that people can relate to and understand um but it has a little bit of texture to it and it feels very 80s um i'd argue Maybe a little too 80s, <laughs> a little overboard on some of the aesthetic there, but it's it's inoffensive, I would say. Uh, I could see some people not liking this, but as you can see, the ratings all kind of speak for themselves. What few people, excuse me, sorry, what few people have heard this tend to to like it to some degree. It looks like, um, yeah, this is very much an 80s send up kind of a thing. But like, I'm open to checking out more of this because. Uh, Prom night, jeez. Uh, AOR, oh no. Like, I, I'm open to checking out more of this because this person, or these two people, Tim and Tyler, apparently, um, I, I, I can I can relate to what they're attempting to do here. Um, I, I think it's very commendable because I, I love send-ups of retro stuff, whether it's 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I mean, I'm a sucker for nostalgia. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Good track, good track. I think it was quite nice. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to do one of these things as per usual. Uh, and thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, Godspeed.